DFG Science TV, Bonded Concrete, Breaking Tests, How Strong is Ultra Strong? The composite beam test we saw in the last episode was a success. The beam showed a failure of the concrete compression zone, just as the researchers had anticipated. That doesn't mean their work is done, though. Now the researchers need to examine the composite beam and analyze the results of the test. To do so, they removed the beam from the testing bed. Then they saw the concrete slab in half. This allows them to see the shear connectors. The puzzle strip, which joins the concrete slab to the steel beam, is clearly visible now, and also the cracks in the concrete can be examined. But what behaviour did the beam show until the moment of failure? In order to analyse the beam's load and deformation characteristics during the test, the researchers recorded various measurement values. Here are the displacement transducers, for example. They measure deformation, such as the deflection, for instance. And then there are the strain gauges, which measure the extension. The researchers plot the various measurements using graphs. This allows them to compare the various tests with each other and also to analyse the actual test of the beam. This is the load deflection curve from the test. You can see the load cycles here in the plastic region here. When the beam failed, we saw a deflection of 8.5 cm approximately, which you can see clearly. And this is precisely what we want to happen with our construction elements. This behavior is referred to as ductile failure with anticipation. Why did you then release the stress again during the test? We were interested in finding out whether we could retain the same level. That basically means that the beam is almost undamaged. And how satisfied are you with the puzzle strip as a shear connector? The puzzle strip is really excellent. You can see here quite clearly how it was subjected to stress. Oh yes, and here in the middle nothing happens. That's right. That's because it's only in these regions that there is thrust. And another thing that interested us is the strain distribution across the cross-sectional height. Here's pressure and there's tension. As you can see, the concrete is in the pressurized region and it is capable of doing so, whereas the steel is in the tensile region and that's as it should be too. A resounding success for the entire research team from Aachen. Both the tests of the composite beam as well as those of the pre-stressed concrete beam were a success. Of course the researchers want to publish their results and in the next episode engineer Guido will show us how that's done. Visit DFG Science TV for more information. Awaken the researcher within you.